Greetings from WP25. In this video, I am going to show you custom admin columns and media settings option. So let's enable this custom media columns. And here you can see different type of admin columns. Let's select show post on admin columns and it will tell you to add a default thumbnail image. Let's say this one and save the settings. Now if I navigate to post, here you can see the thumbnail column added. If your post don't have a featured image, then it will present the default thumbnail image that I just set. For example, this post has a featured image, that's why you can see it's different, but and this post doesn't contain any featured image, that's why you can see the default image is appeared here, which I added in the option panel. Let's navigate to our option panel again. And you can show URL path columns for post type. And when you select this one, it will show you some options for which post types you would like to enable this URL path. Post, page, or product, or anything. Let's set the settings. Now, if I again navigate to all post, here you can see a new admin column added called URL path. So this is how actually this custom admin columns work. Uh, we have some pre good custom admin column. You can just enable this if you think it's necessary for you. Let's disable everything. Let's enable this media settings. At present, we only have one option called post thumbnail on RSS. When you enable this, it added your thumbnail image inside the RSS feed area. Let's visit our feed URL. And here you can see the image that is added after enabling this option. Okay, let me just disable this and show you the result. You will see the image will be gone. I mean, this section will be gone from this feed URL. Let me just reload and you can see the image is gone. By default, the featured image is not added inside your feed. But if you use double pay 25 media settings option, then you can easily insert your thumbnail on your RSS feed. So that's all about custom admin column and media settings.